Hi, welcome back. This is um, Diamond Nathan. So today um, I'm going to be showing you guys about like Amazon FBA. So I'm going to show you guys what to um, I'm going to show you about what you guys to scan and what to scan because most people want to know more about Amazon FBA. So I'm going to show you guys what to scan, what not to scan. So first of all, it's the news about Amazon. Um, there's five percent charge on the seller fee, so they're going to be five percent more to the seller fee. So don't forget about that. I'm got my mask on. So first of all, the things not to do about it first. Um, when you're getting started first, trying to make sure you don't get heavy stuff because ship. most people don't tell you about the back end about Amazon, but the shipping costs a lot more than the lifestyle. So I'm going to show you guys actually what to scan and what not to scan. So follow me, let's go. Welcome back. This is, um, I'm going to show you guys, right? So I'm going to show you guys about the Amazon app first. So let's do this real quick. So the Amazon app is going to show like that. So, um, so you scan it like that. So when you scan it like that, the item itself costs like, $3.99, most people can see right here, $3.99. And then the Amazon is called $5.94. So in reality, it's not gonna worth if you actually ship it. It's not gonna, it's not gonna worth it because the shipping itself, if I pull that, my Amazon fee is probably gonna cost around, so you guys can see right now. Amazon fee is gonna be $5.94. And then to ship this, gonna be probably another $5. So it's not gonna be worth it. So for you to make money, you gotta find items that are basically easy to to, um, to ship. Then that costs more um, leverage. So, and then when you first start it, when you first start it, make sure you ship like stuff that's way less than a pound, like stuff like this, like stuff that are way more, way more um, better. Let me start scanning this and see, so you guys, so I can see how much it costs. So this is the other side people don't tell, don't tell about you about working at Amazon. You basically gotta keep scanning items every single time. This one you gotta watch out too. See this one is only seven. Amazon is basically finessing these people. Uh, see, Target is basically finessing these people. Seven dollars on eBay. So, see that's seven dollars on Amazon. So here is like seventeen dollars. So, watch out too. They be finessing people out there. Um. So like I was saying, look for a small stuff. This one is probably like two pounds. See, this is four ninety nine. And it's six ninety nine, so it's not gonna be worth it. So I'm telling people out there, it takes a lot of work to actually do this. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you about the stuff you guys actually make money on. So I'll see you guys back on the other side. Welcome back. So um, I found this item. I think it's probably gonna be like less than a pound or two. So this might be easy to ship. So um, in um, Target, it's probably nineteen seventy nine right now, which is pretty cheap for people that want to get started. So. Um, if I scan it on the Amazon app, so I'm gonna scan it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So an Amazon app is 2916. So your profit margin is pretty large than, than the other one. So shipping might probably be like around like around you can you can charge the customer $2.99 per for uh, shipping too if you want to. And um so this one Amazon will probably gonna charge like maybe two or three dollars off day. So you probably have like five five to six dollars uh profit margin margin on this um item. So this is what people don't tell you about is like, you have to be willing to, second to, when you buy this, you gotta make sure, um, you have to worry about the uh, the time too, you're buying it, secondly to, you have to worry about the shipping costs and everything. So for example, this one doesn't take that much to cut, to the stuff. Before you wanna start shipping stuff, don't don't go out there and try to like buy stuff. You gotta figure out how much it costs and the pound on it. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys the other thing. You can find light stuff around here in Target. This one actually sells a lot, the lights too. So um, I'm about to show you guys another thing that actually sells. So I'll see you guys later. Back. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys like the don'ts is actually not um shipping. So most people want to try and get into kids and stuff like that. Like this heavy stuff right here. This is probably around like five to seven, like probably ten pounds, right? This is around like maybe ten pounds right here. For you to ship this, it depends on what you're shipping to. It probably cost like almost thirty-five dollars. So. Think about it, there's no customer is gonna pay $35 to ship this to them. So I should just people should not actually start selling this. Unless you wanna do drop shipping, I mean it might be cost less, but it's still not worth it to do when you come to Amazon FBM. So uh, the stuff the stuff that I actually worth it to do, sorry for the, the noises and stuff like that. So uh, this one look at this, right? This one's probably $879, right? I'm gonna show you guys like how how you think it might cost less, but the shipping actually hit hit a lot of it. See right here, right? So on my hair is eight 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 um eight eight eighty nine, right? Amazon is almost thirty four dollars. So if, even though there's a lot of margin that actually sell a lot, right? Because it's only eight dollars, but the weight of it, it's gonna be hard for you to actually um 
ship it. So if I was you, I would actually take out the uh, the barcode of it, the US the USB in onto it, and then um sorry, I'm probably having problems, but um. Uh, Take the USB in and then put it down on the, uh, go to Target and actually see it's more easier for you to actually um, ship it, drop shipping and actually doing the um, Amazon FBM. So um, last thing too, because most people, because Easter coming, right? When is Easter? Uh, this this Sunday. This which Sunday, is, right? So which is the 17th. The 17th. So uh, this is kind of too late right now, but the 17th. So um, I'm about to show you guys Easter. So, like you can make money on Easter because most. That's where, think about Amazon's like seasonal and stuff like that. So, do Easter is like, do Easter, you can come here and stop buying um, stuff that actually represents Easter and stuff like that. Like this one right here, you can get this bunny right here. Scan it. Sorry, I'm playing with food. So, see, this one is no one selling at this moment. No one selling this item at this moment. And you can actually stop, you can make a lot of money from this because no one actually selling this product. So that's one of them. And then you can look for candies all around, which I'm, I'm not going to take a long time, but you can make a lot of money doing the, uh, doing the is today. So uh, one of them. And then the last thing before I actually close out on this video, I want to show you guys one thing to actually sell. So um, uh, let's go back this way, my bad. <laughs> so uh, don't do dog food. It's not worth it. That's one thing people should actually do. It's not worth it. Yeah. So, uh, flash, you can do you can do this flash too, like right here. This is twenty-four, uh, twenty-four dollars. Let me scan how much it costs. So, you see, you're getting finesse riders. Is uh ninety-nine and ninety-nine. So you can get a lot. You can lose a lot of money here. So, most people want to know that they're actually getting finesse out here. But um, let me show you the last thing. I, I, that, that you can make actually good money from it. You gotta start saying hand soap. I don't know where is it is, but it's around here. And so, uh, okay, for example, for this one right here, like ear freshener, like blade right here, you can make a lot of money. For example, right, it was two ninety nine, two ninety nine, and then here is about five five ninety nine. You can sell it for five ninety nine, but it's not gonna be worth it. But try to get someone, try to get the pack one. That's where you make a lot of money. So uh, that one, and let me show you guys one more thing. I'm trying to find the the. Uh, the hands the hand sanitizer that's where you make a lot of money from so so i can't find it right now this moment it's kind of bad uh, so um like i was saying guys like do because they're doing covid most people are looking for a hand sanitizer so right now i'm going to scan it so you guys can actually see so um the hand sanitizer is one right up right here it's selling more on amazon right now so at this moment it's 2.99 right it's 2.99 on, on target and if you scan it on the um app right now i'm going to scan it so you guys can see so it's it's nine dollars. So two so dollars, three dollars. So you probably have another like like around like six or seven dollars profit. You can actually do that, and then it doesn't it doesn't wait it doesn't wait that much for you to actually um, sell. So that one too, like I was saying, go for my hand hand sanitizer. They're pretty easy, even though some of them are banned. You gotta watch out. You actually actually come and scan them and figure out which one actually which will actually uh, easier to want to sell. This one was pretty. I think this one I, I did this one before. So this one's is $9.99 and it was like $4.50 to actually, uh, so in, in Target it costs $9.99 and here it costs like $4.50 $4 to actually ship. So it's pretty cheap for you doing it and do like light stuff. People who start in Amazon, Amazon FBA, trying to make sure you do like light stuff right here. So like, it'd be, you'd, be, you'd be funny how, how much this one, $4.59, let's see how much it costs. So this is one is $5.99. So, it's not gonna be worth it. So, uh, like I was saying, you gotta keep doing this over and over. And then don't forget, man, the fee, the fee, the fee gonna hold you. And then the fee is gonna hold you a lot. So, um, like I was saying, guys, just look around for like small things when you start with Amazon. So, if um, you guys have any comment about Amazon FBA, don't forget to drop it down below, and I'll be able to see you guys. I hope you guys have a nice day. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.